Look how cool. This is awesome. Oh my <laughs> God. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me. I'm here in my kitchen and you guys have requested so many times that I do a cooking video. So I am here with <laughs> my roommate. Hi. This is Anna. I don't think Anna has had a legit Introduction, I've just shoved the camera in her face. So this is Anna. Why did you shove the camera in my face? Okay, good. Cause I always feel like I do. <laughs> That's no. good. Anyways, we're coming to you live sweaty at 8.30 PM because we are making bagels in this video. documenting our whole process doing doing the bagels from start to finish because it's kind of a fucking lot here move your face move your face it won't focus uh, Ew. Stop. It's anyway nice. Anna has spent the last few days feeding her starter because I still don't get the technology behind like what is that <laughs> Hi everyone, it's editing Kaylee. So I always leave out important details every single time I'm doing a video with someone or if something's complicated, but we are making sourdough bagels. Fun, okay, so Anna's pretty good at making sourdough stuff. It's really complicated and I don't really wanna explain it. Basically you have to do something called feed your sourdough starter. Uh, what the fuck? I don't know. Anyways, let's continue. I'm also sipping on a Takati 6 9 <laughs> Just kidding. It's just beer. <laughs> so oh my gosh. We're going to start the process. You have to start it the day before. I don't really know. Anna sort of being the man of this ship. I guess without further ado, let's get started. The sourdough starter is just a different way to leaven bread. It's like what you use for bread instead of using... Anna, I love you dearly. But this talking, girl. <laughs> so basically, we were preparing the leaven. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I don't even know what leaven is. Wait, better taste. So why are we using sourdough? Cause it tastes good. Okay, there we go. That's all you need to know. It has like a more complex taste, and it has like you know the sour. Yeah, I don't know. It's so just fun. yeah, we're using sourdough opposed to the regular dough. <laughs> all those bubbles are how you know it's ready. Um, one of the ways to know for sure, because like Kaylee said, I've been feeding this thing for like three days because I keep it in the fridge. I don't bake often enough to keep it out because if you keep it out on the counter room temperature, you have to feed it every 12 hours, which is a lot of flour. <laughs> to feed it, you just put equal parts water and flour in it. But to know if it's actually ready, you take some of the starter, put it in some water, and if it floats, <gasps> see how it's floating? Oh, that's how you know it's ready. Then you know it's ready because it has enough air. In it. Does it just give you Mother Nature vibes? <laughs> <laughs> to make bread rice, I guess. Got a comfortable so. laugh. I live for it. <laughs> this is a three day process because we're using sourdough. It takes a lot longer for it to rise, and you have to do a bunch of different like, rising times, I guess. Tonight, we're going to mix some starter, flour, and water together, which is basically just like feeding it again, but with a specific amount. Wait, of... can, I, can I say something real quick? Yeah. Every time she says, like, because we've been, we've been making like all, or she's been making all kinds of like bread and shit, but every time she's like, I got to be my starter. I imagine like a Venus flytrap. It's going. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. Okay. We need 116 grams of flour. You gotta do it till it says 116 grams, everybody. That's 116 exactly. You get a load of this. So we need 58 grams of water. Look what her dog has. A gardening glove. We don't even know where these came from. Her dog found some gardening gloves and we don't know where they came from. Wow. It's like the honey all over again. She's gonna mix it together. Didn't even notice your punches up. Oh my god, my pits. They smell terrible. I can smell them from here. You can? Oh, can you? You can? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, can you though? Wait, can you? No! Oh my gosh, Shut up. up! I know I've done no work, but I promise I will do maybe some later. So this is what we have. Thank so you. the point of us filming this and doing this right now is because you're supposed to let it rise. It says leave it covered to ripen for 12 hours. So it has to ripen. Like a banana? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Big shit on my dick. 
schmackam. Oh my God, look, this ant has a piece of flower in its mouth. <gasps> Who do you work for? This is the newest edition. It's very nice. Ew, don't put her over that. It's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to go to sleep. We're gonna do this. Wait. That is about it for this part. <laughs> and then we will be back tomorrow with um the more of the stuff. So hopefully tomorrow will be a brighter and better future, better days, better days ahead. Peace, love, and laugh. Um, good night and goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the next day. When I woke up, Anna said that she made three different types of bread. We're doing all that. Look what happened overnight. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so last night, it, it was all... like a little patty of dough that was like this, and it's got all the way, it's hard to see because of this nasty sticker, but yeah, it rose Knowledge. The Last night was just making the Levain, which is this, so you use this to make the whole dough. Anna had to buy something called malt powder. Who even knows? I have a tonsil stone and it's really bothering me. It's not good. Do not speak to me until I've had my coffee. <laughs> Disgusting this area is. This is what baking bread is. I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Uh, so just put a little bit of the water. You. We need. Ow. Did we do it? I got you. Yes. I got you. I can't open anything. Um, that was so easy, ma'am. 29 grams. 29 grams. So just do it really slow. You want to see some speed? <laughs> Salt. <laughs> So it calls for caster sugar, but we don't have that, so we're using regular. I don't know if that's bad, but... I don't even know what that means. It's kind of nasty, though. Though that looks and like someone took dog food and put it in a puddle. 197 grams? <gasps> All right, let's get it! Wait, what is this again? I forgot. I keep on forgetting what we're doing. 197. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> no. That's, that's 11. <laughs> wait. Leaven. Kaylee, you read it wrong. We're supposed to do seven grams of this, which you did, which is fine, but you're supposed to do 29 grams of sugar, not seven. Oh. Right? So now what we're gonna do is, now that we have this mixture ready, we're going to measure the leaven and mix in with the leaven. And I, once again, not, not really sure what's going on. This is the leaven. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Now that we have the leaven, that weird mixture in this bowl, now we have to make the dough. What? What? Okay, so right now I am mixing the dough with my fingers and it is a very, very weird feeling. Mm, okay, I wish you guys could see this. They can. They can. <laughs> my ancestors were Lebanese women who made pies all day long. You think I'm not good for this? Let's get... Okay, guys, this is the mound. I would have to show you... I would love to show you this. <sighs> You're doing it the wrong way. I have to yell at her. Hello, everyone. We are here with the dough. Ada's going to demonstrate how to knead the dough. Okay. So you were doing it right where you fold it over. Yeah. But you, like, push with the heel of your hand. Oh, yes, yes. I've seen my ancestors do this. <laughs> when it's done, you want it to be completely smooth. All right. Bye. Let's get to it. All right, everyone, we are back. We let the dough rise, do its thing. I don't know, was it rising? Yeah. Who knows? So now we're gonna do something so fun and we are going to make our rainbow bagels. In front of me, we have bowls and I guess, what is this, uh, food coloring? Okay, not working. <laughs> we wanna separate this into, we're doing five colors. Five colors. Five equal pieces, so we can just eyeball this probably. It looks like a pizza. Oh! Okay, so we're, we've come across a little bit of a dilemma. Show the people. We put the food coloring on. Here, we put, oh! we put the food coloring on, but it, <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Hey guys, I'm over here gonna be putting in the blue food coloring. Um, we are We have like very limited counter space, so. 
You may say I'm a dreamer. Ooh. Okay, so this is turning out to be needing a lot of food coloring. What if you just go like this? Help me, please. So this is turning out not to be the easiest. Ooh. Okay, so this is what the blue is just gonna have to look like. Oh my god, this is, you can't tell me this isn't beautiful. Okay, I think this is what the purple is gonna have to look like, which is not bad. Keep needing it. That's nice. So now we want to make 12 bagels and thirds. So cool, you guys. This is very fun. I also just want to say for the record, they're more like pastel tie-dye bagels, which is gonna be fine, but yeah, still, it's just like kind of insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited, and now it's time to fold them together, guys. bad at this like I, we tried to make dumplings once and girl i couldn't make them so <laughs> uh, anna i tooted i'm sorry all right time lapse starts now All right, y'all, so we just finished rolling the bagels. They look so good. I am so happy with the way they turned out. I honestly thought I would wreck them and Anna would not because that's literally what happens every time we make something with dough. So now we have to let them rise overnight and tomorrow we are going to be bowling them. And I'm so excited about that. See you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone, it's the next day. Um, I feel like this video has been going on for so long, but here's the sitch. They were in the fridge overnight, so they look kind of flat for some reason. Hopefully they'll puff up, I, I think they will. But right now we're going to boil them, let them sit, and then we're gonna bake them. However, we need to create steam somehow to steam them. I think putting two cooking, sh two baking sheets on top of each other would probably be the best. I'm gonna kill that fly. There's a fly in here. Also, it, the kitchen's messy and gross because Anna has been baking for four days straight. <laughs> she made French bread and sandwich bread. Yeah, get that good, get that good angle. <laughs> and now it's time for Anna's bread haul that's running up the power bill. Bow, 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 bow. I had a piece of avocado toast for breakfast just now. <sighs> First one. <laughs> Oh no. What? They're not floating. Blow on, please. Oh, it's going. Yeah, they're supposed to float. We just have to rest them at room temperature for a little bit longer. Hopefully. Okay. So, all right, everyone, we're back. Um, We're going to try this again. It's been a few hours since. I think what we're going to do for toppings is we're going to do everything sea salt rosemary. We're using real rosemary. A post, a post to fake rosemary? That's... We preheat the oven to 500 degrees, which is so gnarly and insane. And it's so hot in here. Our power bill is going to be so expensive. And not that it wasn't already expensive. $400 last month. That was not good. But a little shoddy the baddest. Shoddy little boo thing. Missed, um, onion? Try this again. Okay, we're gonna try it again. You guys ready? Please <gasps> Yay! Yay! It's floating! Woo! Okay. So after 40 seconds, we're gonna flip them. Mm -hmm. Do another 40 seconds. Drain them on this. Okay, now Anna is putting on the toppings. That's gonna be really yummy. You guys, these are looking so fucking good. I'm shook! Look at them. Wow. Um, definitely gonna Photoshop that, so. Wait, 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 don't do it. What, what? Close the oven, close the oven. Close the oven. I told you not to do it. So now, before they go in, we have to make them 
into like a steamed cauldron and I don't know how we're supposed to do that. They're in the oven. Woo! We'll see when we are done. We just checked the bagels. And bitch! That's all I have to say. Okay! The bagels are done. Uh, sorry, the dishwasher's going off, but bitch, they look heavenly. Yes, they're done, they're done, they're done. Shut up, Google! <gasps> bitch. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> I come in for one more minute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to toast this, chop it, and toast it. Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> That's so fun. I'm like more excited about the crumb structure than the rainbow. <laughs> That's so pretty. Gonna dress up my bag out. This is what we have. We have a piece of... <laughs> this is what we have on our homemade tie-dye bagel. Look how beautiful that tomato is though. Okay, here we go. This is our bagels, ready? Mmm. Bitch, that's so good. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow. I'm speechless. The texture is not bad. No. It's like perfect. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, bitch, we're having another one. I'll do this ugly one. That flavor is excellent. Mmm, bitch. Shut up. So I'm just gonna do cream cheese on this one, but oh shit, my camera's dying. I feel the onion one. Ooh, bitch, imagine, imagine this. Imagine. Imagine. Ha ha. Imagine. Ha Okay, yeah, my camera died and I didn't do an outro because it was so overwhelmed by the flame for the bagel. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like these videos, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I really enjoyed this, so I love you. Goodbye.